Okay, so let's check out Advent of Code. So here we are on day two. <coughs> Your flight departs in a few days, a days from the coastal airport. The easiest way down the coast from here is via Tobagan. The shopkeeper at the North Pole Tobagan rental shop is having a bad day. Something's wrong with our computers. We can't log in. You ask if you can take a look. The password database seems to be a little corrupted. Some of the passwords uh, wouldn't have been allowed by the official Tobagan corporate policy that was in effect when they were chosen. To try to debug the problem, you have created a list, your puzzle input of passwords, according to the corrupted database, and the corporate policy when that password was set. For example, you have the following list, okay? Each line gives the password policy and then the password. The password policy indicates the lowest and highest number of times a given letter must appear for the password to be valid. For example, 1 till 3a means that the password must get contain at least one and at most three times, okay? In the above examples, two passwords are valid and the middle password is not. It contains no instance of B but needs at least one. The first and third passwords are invalid. Uh, they contain 1A or 1C, both within the limits of their respective policies. How many passwords are valid according to their policies? Okay, so that's, that's doable. So let's see. It's all just a single character, so that's good. So let's just take this and save it. Uh, let's go to AOC. And this will be our day two. <coughs> okay. Uh, ba -dum -bum -bum. So let's make a new function for day two. Just copy day one and make it day two. Get the input for day two. Um, let's see, we split the lines. Uh, we have a format that we need to parse. So let's see. Hey Friar, good morning. So we need to make sure that we parse this. Um, we could make it easier on us and split by space. Then we have three parts. We can remove this one to know which letter it is. Um, yeah, th that's fairly doable. Um, so let's do that. So we'll take a list of uh, int min int max uh, character c string uh, to test input is no blah <coughs> okay so now we go to uh, we split the inputs we don't need that as a number so we have the split With the split, we can do, um, let's see, uh, select, um, no, I think we just for each of these, uh, far lines is this to list, oh no, it's already split, we don't have to do that, so, I words, words. Hi, thank you for joining. So for uh, string line and lines, um, string parts equals line dot split. So we split by character, and then we have three inputs uh, for each. Okay. So we have that. Um, yes. Now we do um, uh, string 
min max is plus zero dot split that will have um, the character will be just the first character of the of that and um, yeah <coughs> so now we can do input so add no, add new no, actually we can just do uh, input pass min max zero uh, input pass min max one then we'll have the character, which is parts. Thanks for the follow, Benedict Ray. Hi. Um, oh yeah, sorry for people who are just joining. I'm working on Advent of Code, the day two challenge. Um, I've just read it before I started. Uh, you can check it out at the link, uh, which is basically two puzzles a day where you get a coding challenge. Um, running up till Christmas and yeah, I've done it done this last year and I, I really enjoy uh, doing these things um, so now we're trying to um, parse these inputs this is the input it says how many for a minimal and a maximum of uh, characters that you need so for instance this first one needs between two and four p characters in the password this one has it so this one is valid so then you call uh, or count the number of valid passwords and you submit that as the answer and then you get a another challenge that you have to do with the same input thanks for the follow words i hope i'm pronouncing that correctly um, so i'm now just parsing the input into something that we can code against easily so this is the input i've dumped it into a file and now i'm just uh, quickly parsing it so i could have done a, a regular expression or something but i figured just plain uh, quickly parsing it would be best so parts two and this will actually be character zero of that so this is a bit ugly but it works uh, so now i have my inputs uh, so i can do console oh, console that right line i can say checking passwords so this will be input that count so um we can just remove this and the result will be uh, the amount of valid passwords uh, valid passwords zero and we return valid passwords okay so now we look to each of them for each bar uh, in uh, let me just rename that Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Now I can say just for, for input and inputs, and I've used the value tuple here. So that's what you see here. It's just a, a, a like an inline class where you can store variables named together with a type, etc. So it's better than you have an anonymous tuple. Uh, so it makes it a bit more readable. Um, so now we check um int uh char character occurrence is zero so we do um int uh, char index equals to input dot to test index of uh, input punt char while char index logger equals zero we do character occurrence um, and then we do this char index and we pass the previous uh, start index so that you can uh, uh, skip the one that you found so this one will report all the ones that you have um, and actually I would like to keep track of it because something tells me that I will need that later so I will do a dictionary int int uh, occurrence 
So I will just, once it's done, I will do that add uh, occurrence.count and I will do character occurrence. So now I'll create an additional dictionary to keep track of how many matches that I've found for each because I think the next question will need that, but I'm not sure. So um, yeah, so basically this should be the answer. Um, Oh, no, I still need to check. So once we have this here, uh, we can say um, if uh, character occurrence large or equal than input dot min and character occurrence small or equal to input dot max, we can increment the valid passwords. Now return that. So let's see. We can skip those and just say, okay, let's run day two. Uh, I need to print it out. That's not smart of me. Um, console, uh, let's see. I can just print it in the function itself, actually. Um, valid passwords, valid passwords. Oh, that's probably length here, right? Oh, it's, it's like that, okay. 474, so we do 474. Boom, that's right. First question in the bag. Okay, so let's see what the trick is for part two. While it appears you validated the passwords correctly, you don't seem to be what the official Tobargan Corporate Authenticate Let's see, they don't seem to be what the official Tobargan corporate authentication system is expecting. The shopkeeper suddenly realizes that he just accidentally explained the password rules from his old job at the sledge rental place down the street. The official uh, policy works a little differently. Uh, actually describes two positions in the password, but one means the first character and two means the second character and so on. Be careful, um, have no concept of index zero. Okay, exactly one of these positions must contain the given letter. Other occurrences of the letter are irrelevant for the purpose of policy enforcement. Okay. Let's see. Exactly one. Okay, so they can't exist in both places because they, okay. Okay, so let's let's go with that. So it was what was not what I was expecting. So let's go to day two, part two. <laughs> let's see, day two, part two. Um, bum, 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 bum. So this changes this. We can remove this and. Uh, like this. So we can say uh, bool plus one plus two. So we can do uh, plus one equals input dot uh, to test dot length larger or uh, let's see. Uh, it's zero base or. Uh, larger or equal to um, input.min and uh, input so input.min plus uh, now minus one equals to input character. So we test here if the, the specified index is at least uh, this needs to be to test. If the, the index that we need to look for is within range of the string and if it matches, and we do pause two equals, and we do the same thing, but we check it against the max, max, and then we do if, if pause one doesn't equal pause two, plus plus valid passwords. Now we do day two. Hmm. 
<coughs> 745. Okay, 745. Boom! And we got it! Woo! This was a quick one. Yeah, that's also nice. That means I can get back to work in a bit. Um, so yeah, that was already uh, the question. Do you have any, uh, or that was already uh, uh, the problem solved. Does anybody have any questions? Because I'm happy to answer them. Otherwise, I'll uh, find somebody to raid and uh, continue with my, my, my work. By the way, I'll be doing this every day. At least I'm trying to. Uh, and I can suggest for everybody to just follow along because they are, they are so, so really nice. So yeah, they, they unlock at 6 a.m. So it's now uh, 9 a.m. for me. Um, so we could have been a lot higher because I think we did it pretty fast, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it, uh, words. Hi, I'm Nick and I've just finished editing this video. I hope you like what I uh, did with it. I tried to add some explanations where possible. So if you liked the video, please like and subscribe, leave a comment and uh, maybe see you tomorrow. Bye bye.